I am Pushpa Patil. I live in Rochester Hills, Michigan. Um, I studied uh, MCA, Master in Computer Application. I worked for three years in India, in India, uh, as a software engineer. And now I am home <laughs> homemaker. <laughs> I am mother of two daughters and a lovely wife of uh, loving husband. <laughs> we should speak like that. So uh, this is a very good session. This is, I feel this is very a uh, proud moment for me. Today I am sharing uh, my mother's story. My mother' name is Mrs. Uh, Vidya Mishra. She is a homemaker, and she is living in Nagpur. I wanted to share one uh, inspiring incident. Um, I think I was in uh, eighth class that time, and my parent had been living in Akola City, Maharashtra. My parents had taken a rental house there in a distant uh, colony. Mostly government employees were studying there. Everyone had big individual houses, so uh, he had taken one big rented house before renting. it had been said that on one part of the house um, owner's mother in law was staying and on other part uh, for renters uh, for tenants on rent and the main house owner was staying in nagpur and he was retired government employee after moving soon we came to know that owner's mother in law is locked in the house by her husband husband had a second wife and he was living with her in some other place in same city he used to come only for dropping food and water and lock the door and left and it was going like this since many months old woman was very very old around 80 to 90 years of age and she lost her senses she lost her mind she did not take bath from many months she was dumped in the house so she looked scary when uh, whenever her husband came from uh, for dropping food and he was inside the rooms sometimes she crawling out from the house and she was trying to get around but looking at her her scariness everyone was getting scared in the neighborhood in neighboring houses and used to say go go don't come here jao jao udhar jao idhar mat aao like that she was living in such pitiful life even such such condition she used to sing songs in marathi you know marathi abhanga marathi ovya for her grandson and daughter it means she was remembering her daughter and grandson seeing all these thing my mother felt very sad then she called house owner lady and told her about her mother's condition how she is living pathetically at first she refused to come but my mother told her i am there no need to uh, no need to be afraid you come and stay with us <laughs> you have to come after few days she came and in her presence we broke the lock and got uh, and got the old woman out my mother made ready uh, bathing water for her putting lots of neem leaves and gave her bath with the help of one more uh, neighboring auntie gave her clean cloths and help in cleaning the house also after spending a day her daughter left alone saying she will arrange some private uh, vehicle and take her along later in few days 
but she did not come we used to give her food and take care of her in uh, some days old woman's husband came and asked for rent but we refused to give later he stopped coming after that his uh, second wife came and quarrel for rent and abuses us she was a goon kind of lady but my mother scolded her and told if you come again i will call police i will file a complaint against you later she never came back after in uh, 10 15 days old woman died my mother informed her house owner lady about her death so everyone knows about that lady uh, about old woman so everyone in neighborhood and some uh, family friends gather and waited till night i think 11 or 11:30 for her last right but house owner did not turn up so everyone decided and requested my mother, my father to perform uh, last death ritual so he did and um next morning house owners came and they did rest of the uh, rituals so um means third day after death later uh, house owner clean the house paint the rooms and gave it on rent <laughs> so i find this is very courageous and kind deed so because before uh, moving to that house nobody in the neighborhood bother about that old woman's pitiful condition but my mother took initiative tackled the gun lady handled old woman's scariness gave her fresh food every day i used to give because my mother said go give food to aji so we give fresh food every day made her house free from uh, gun lady and uh, her cruel husband so um, house owner always remained thankful to my parents i am feeling this is very inspiring story i am feeling very proud to share here with you all my mother shows actual karuna park of my mankind this is very um, inspiring to me and many others i am proud to have her in my life as my mother she always says every person soul journey is different so don't judge if you are able to help you you can don't be a bystander so uh this is the story so thanks for uh, giving me this opportunity to share my mother and thanks to my mother to have this, <laughs> because of her i am sharing this story so all credit goes to her and this is very good session happy women's month to all and jai hind